proportions have got importance in uh, dental planning. It is important that how we apply this knowledge in dentistry. Even if we have spacing in the teeth and we are the teeth are having a disproportionate relationship, we can still make them look beautiful, we can still make them look aesthetic and this is how we are going to utilize the proportions. But we have always been taught a lot of proportions, you know types of proportions like rule of thirds and 1 16th rule and golden proportion and repeated ratio and, and so on. We will all discuss the advantage and disadvantage of these and how to utilize them in clinical practice. The first one is rule of thirds. Now this as you can see in the picture, it is the level from the triconium that is your hairline till the glabella, from the glabella till the nasion, subnasal and from the subnasal to your lowest portion of the chin. Now this three have to form equal thirds and this is what is the rule of thirds. The rule of 16th is the height of the central incisor should be around 1 16th of the height of the face and the width of the central incisor should be around 1 16th the interzygomatic uh, width. This is the rule of 16. We have also studied golden proportion. What exactly is golden proportion? It was taught that the central incisor, if they are 1.618, then the lateral incisor should be 1 and the canine should be around 0 0.0618. But in reality, this is very difficult. If you go ahead with such type of golden proportion, we do not see the thing in naturally present in patients. A small study was done, we conducted that. And it was seen that golden proportion was not at all seen in Indian population. So should we follow them? Absolutely not. But we need to know what exactly is golden proportion, how it was used.